Hello everybody, this is Mrs Burgoyne. Um, I'm here to take you through the final A-level course. The exam board that you're going to be using is Edexcel and with Miss Redcliffe and myself, we'll be taking you through as your teachers for the next two years. What is fine art? So, fine art is through the disciplines of painting and drawing, printmaking, sculpture, land-based image making and numerous other media is a way of us considering um, how we'd actually like to reflect our place in the world through the use of imagery. And this could be digital, uh, it could be traditional methods, um, it could be self-expression, and sometimes it can be free from external constraints as well. And what we do is we create a message or communicate an idea through our artwork. How does the course work? Well, for the first five months of year 12, uh, using skills and experimentation, we really want you to be free from the shackles of GCSE and to embrace trying out new things. So in the first part of AS, up until you start your A2 component, so your proper A level uh, in March 2021, so halfway through year 12, we want you to be as experimental as possible and develop your skills with a very open mind. Um, so not being too precious, but really trying hard to um, try out different ways of uh, visual communication. Your component one starts, as I said, in March 2021. Um, and your component two, which is your externally set assignment, is actually in February 2022. OK, so 2021 is when you start component one and 2022 is when you start component two. Overview of component one, which is 90 marks. Now, this is 60 percent of your overall qualification and this will include practical work and also a thousand words of continuous prose as a personal study. And that will connect with your project. So that in itself is worth 18 marks and your practical is worth 72 and all work must cover all four assessment objectives. It's worth mentioning though that assessment objective four um, is all of your work, not just final pieces. So your externally set uh, assignment is 40% of the qualification and that is set uh, in the February of 2022, when we won't know uh, what the title is until you do. So the 1st of February is the first time that we're able to access that title. Now, examples of A-level, it's been very difficult, obviously, with you being at home, that you're not in school to see face-to-face -face, uh, work on display. But on the following slides, I show some examples of A-level drawings. Now, these have not been done by our school, but they are A-level. They may not necessarily be year 12, but the aim is to see you uh, get a feel for the standard of the work that you'll be working towards. And although we're doing at Excel, there is a link below here from AQA, which is a really good um, site really to look through, uh, which shows some A-level sketchbook examples. And I'd advise you to look online as well and just type in a level sketchbook examples. And there is so much really good stuff out there that could inspire you. So what will you be doing? Um, you're going to be doing contextual studies. So very much like GCSE art, if you did that, you'll be looking at artists and techniques and responding in your own work. You'll be exploring and experimenting with a variety of different media, and we really want you to embrace this. And we'd like you to record your ideas and observations, not just uh, draw through drawings, but even through photography and in writing. And this will be starting with your summer project, which I'll go through with you in just a moment. Your personal um, responses is your whole project. And it's important that every single thing through your project is classed as AO4. So your project is going to be identity and you'll be exploring artists and techniques, experimenting and developing a range of skills. But what we'd like you to do is just to get into the swing of doing some really good, gorgeous drawings and studies. 
You could do these on A3 paper or you could work larger if you wish. And what we'd like you to do is to spend at least six hours um, on your drawings, if not more. So we're saying that each drawing should possibly take you between six to 10 hours. And this is to educate you on how long individual pieces of work may take you uh, because we're really improving on the skill level from GCSE. So to make your interesting still lifes, um, we've given you a list of words to use as inspiration. And from these words, they very much link with the word identity because you're identifying a word with an object. And the objects we choose, we'd like you to think very carefully about how they look or feel, how you arrange your objects and the surfaces you arrange them on. What media would you consider appropriate for the words and the objects and whether your still life is inside or outside your house? Just bear with me one moment. Thank you. Cheers. So that, people, is how you get a delivery at home when you're trying to actually do a bit of um, narrative. So where was I? Yes. So we have a selection of words here. And what I'd actually like you to do is label each drawing with the word that inspired it. If you've taken photographs of your object, please include these as well. And then please bring your completed drawings to your first art lesson of the start of year 12. Now, if you have any questions, um, please can you email myself, Mrs. Burgoyne, or Miss Redcliffe, and we look forward to seeing you in September. Thank you.